Now, we can't talk about plasma cell flow cytometry without talking about immunophenotypes. So let's review what a normal plasma cell should express. Normal plasma cells, as we mentioned, are CD38 and CD138 bright. They are also positive for CD19. They should be negative for CD56, positive for CD27, and positive for CD81. Let's take a brief look at what some of these markers actually are. CD138 is also called Syndican 1. It's a cell adhesion molecule, um, which is present in the late stage of B cell differentiation. It is a sensitive and specific marker of plasma cells and hematopoietic tissues. However, in other uh, tissues, it is not specific. CD38 is a multifunctional enzyme that also is not specific for plasma cells, though plasma cells are uniquely bright for CD38, which we saw in some of those earlier plots. Now we saw from a previous slide that um, normal plasma cells are CD19 positive, so the loss of CD19 is an aberrant finding. CD19 negativity is a very sensitive marker for plasma cell malignancy. Um, almost 98% of myelomas are CD19 negative. However, the loss of CD19 is not specific for malignancy, as some reactive plasma cells may be CD19 negative. CD56 is a very common marker tested for plasma cell neoplasms. In this uh, situation, the gain of CD56 is aberrant. It's seen in the majority of myelomas. And interestingly, um, CD56 negative myelomas um, tend to have or have been shown to have a worse prognosis. CD27 and CD28. Normal plasma cells express CD27, so like CD19, the loss of CD27 is an aberrant finding. This is seen in approximately half of myelomas. Um, the loss of CD27 is associated uh, with disease progression and therefore associated with a worse prognosis. With CD28, um, the gain of CD28 is an aberrant finding, also seen in about half of myelomas. And CD28 expression is associated with a reduced event-free survival in some series. Additionally, we should talk about CD81, CD117, and of course our light chain ratios. With CD81, normal plasma cells express CD81, so the loss of CD81 is again aberrant. It is seen in the majority of myelomas, and its loss is associated with a better prognosis. With CD117, also known as C-kit, its gain is aberrant. It's seen in a minority of myelomas and also associated with a better prognosis. Of course, we have our kappa to lambda ratio in which greater than three or less than 0 0.3 is used as a general guide. But know that each lab has their own criteria for determining what's abnormal. There is a very good ICCS Quality and Standards Committee module number six that addresses this issue. This is an excellent table which uh, summarizes a lot of what we've just mentioned. Normal bone marrow plasma cells and reactive bone, uh, plasma cells should be very bright for CD138 and CD38. In fact, even malignant plasma cells should be bright for those markers, which makes them easy to gate on. CD28 and CD56 should be negative in normal and reactive plasma cells. Their gain is associated with aberrancies. In contrast, CD19, CD27, and even CD45 should be positive to some extent in uh, plasma, normal plasma cells, and the loss is associated with aberrancy.